Good day for BSMA students. Welcome to another semester and welcome to ACC 151 Strategic Tax Management. For our first lesson, ang ide-discuss natin ay yung Senior Citizens Law RA 17432 and Magna Carta for Disabled Persons RA 7277. But before that, tingnan muna natin what are our objectives for today. Our objectives for today includes defining or dapat daw nating malaman ano ba ang definition ng isang senior citizen and a person with disability. Second, identify the income and business tax incentives of a senior citizen and a person with disability. Sa previous taxation subjects natin, na-discuss natin what is income tax, what is business tax. So dito naman, aalamin daw natin ano yung income and business tax incentives given to this kind of individuals, which is particularly yung mga senior citizens natin and yung mga PWDs natin. And then, The third one is to calculate the income and business taxes payable by a senior citizen and a person with disability. So, dahil malalaman natin kung ano yung income and business tax incentives nila, therefore, we can also calculate kung ano yung taxes payable nila. Okay? So, punta na tayo sa definition ng senior citizen. Senior citizen or elderly refers to any Filipino who, who is a resident of the Philippines and who is 60 years old and above. So, malalaman natin if an individual is a senior citizen as to his or her age. So, dapat daw 60, 60 years old and above. It may apply to senior citizens with dual citizenship status provided they prove their Filipino citizenship and have at least 6 months residency in the Philippines. So, yung second statement applies to senior citizens na dual yung citizenship, citizenship nila. So, for example, pwedeng si senior citizen ay American citizen as well as Filipino citizen siya. So, para masabi natin na included siya dito sa definition natin ng senior citizen at included siya sa senior citizen's law or yung RA 7432, dapat daw ma-prove natin na siya ay Filipino citizen at resident siya ng Philippines for at least 6 months. So, bakit ba tayo merong senior citizen law? Kasi, ang sabi, it is the duty of the family to take care of its elderly members. While yung state naman natin may design programs of social security for them. In addition to that, dapat yung state din natin shall adopt an integrated and comprehensive approach to health development which shall endeavor to make essential goods, health, and other social services available to all the, peop- to all the people at affordable cost. So, alam naman natin na yung senior citizens natin, sila na yung mga elderly family members natin, therefore, ma- kailangan mapangalagaan natin sila. Okay? And then, dapat, there shall be priority for the needs of the underprivileged, sick, elderly, disabled women and children. So, nakalagay din kasi sa batas natin yon na priority natin yung mga mentioned individuals na yon. That is why meron tayong senior citizens law. Now, we move to the definition of a person with disability or yung mas tinatawag natin sa PWD. Okay, so PWD are individuals who have a long-term physical, mental, intellectual, or sensory impairments which in interaction with various barriers may hinder their full and effective participation in society on an equal basis with others. So, sa simpleng salita, yung kanilang long-term physical, mental, intellectual, or sensory impairments ay nagiging dahilan para hindi sila makapag-participate in full and effective sa sa society. Okay, for purposes of these regulations, the term PWD shall be further classified or categorized by the Department of Health. So, again, um, ano ba yung reason kung bakit naman meron tayong PWD? Okay, bakit meron tayong PWD or yung tinatawag natin na Magna Carta for Disabled Persons or yung RA 7277. Again, parang sa reason lang din kanina kung bakit tayo merong Senior Citizens Law. Again, kasi kailangan natin silang pangalagaan at kailangan natin silang bigyan ng um, of equal status sa ating state. That is why meron tayong Magna Carta for Disabled Persons. 
Okay, so after defining what is a senior citizen and what is a person with disability, now, punta na tayo dun sa kailangan nating malaman or yung main focus ng lesson natin, which is yung um, income and business tax incentives ng senior citizens and PWDs. So, exemptions and discounts muna tayo for senior citizen. So, again, ang focus natin dito sa slide na to ay yung mga senior citizen. If the returnable income of a senior citizen is in the nature of compensation income but he qualifies as a minimum wage earner, he shall be exempt from income tax on the said compensation. Okay, so i-break down natin yung sinabi na yon. Yung sinasabi niya na returnable income, ito po yung tinatawag natin na taxable income. Okay, kapag daw yung taxable income ng isang senior citizen, ang nature ay compensation. So, ibig sabihin, empleyado si senior citizen at siya ay nag-qualify as a minimum wage earner, he shall be exempt from income tax. Kasi alam naman natin na kapag ang isang employee, ang kinikita niya ay of minimum wage rate, exempt yan from income tax. So, it also applies to senior citizens. He is also exempted from income tax if his taxable income does not exceed his personal exemptions. Yung sinasabi dito na magiging exempt daw siya kapag hindi siya nag-exceed sa kanyang personal exemptions. Again, yung taxable um, income natin which is subject sa graduated tax table. So, nakalagay doon if the income of an individual is 250,000 below, exemption from income tax. So, wala siyang babayaran. Zero. Okay? The next one, na exemption and discounts for senior citizen, all establishments supplying certain goods and services availment shall give a, 20, a discount of 20%. Kaya, minsan kapag nagkakaayaan kayo ng mga lola nyo or ng mga relatives nyo na pumunta sa kainan, sa restaurant or sa fast food, mapapansin nyo na kapag nagbayad um, ng bill, hinahanap yung ID ng senior citizens kung meron man kayong kasama na senior citizen kasi they are given a 20% discount. Okay, continued. Ano pa yung mga iba niyang exemptions or discounts na nakukuha ng isang senior citizen? The monthly utilization of water and electricity by senior citizens supplied by public utilities will be subject to a 5% discount. Okay, so yun daw pong nagagastos ni senior citizen as to water and electricity is given a 5% discount. Kaso, may mga conditions. Okay, provided, number one, that the individual meters for the foregoing utilities are registered in the name of a senior of the senior citizen, citizen residing therein. So, ibig sabihin, nakal, yung pangalan ni senior citizen yung nakalagay sa bill ng tubig or bill ng kuryente. Number two, provided further that the monthly consumption does not exceed 100 kilowatt hours of electricity and 30 cubic meters of water. So, baka mamaya ang ginawa ninyo, nagtayo kayo ng computer shop, tapos mamaya ang ginawa nyo, uh, ang ginawa nyo, ipinil nyo dun sa, um, isinama nyo dun sa metro ng senior citizen para lang magkaroon ng discount or para lang um, mababa yung bas mas bayaran tas makita-kita natin napakalaki nung kinoconsume na kilowatt hour so kung titingnan natin hindi yun tama kasi again dapat kung ano lang ginagamit ng senior citizen so hindi pwede yung ginamit siya dahil dahil ipiginamit siya sa business okay provided number 3 furthermore that the privilege is granted per household regardless of the number of senior citizens residing therein Okay, so kung sa isang bahay merong apat na senior citizen, hindi ibig sabihin na, na apat na beses kang makaka 5% discount. Okay, sabi dito, the privilege is granted per household. So, sa isang bahay lang. Okay, minsan lang sa isang bahay. So, hindi pwedeng kung apat kayong senior citizen, apat na beses matidiscountan yung inyong water or electricity bill. Continued, 50% discount for electricity, water, and telephone consumption if consumed by a senior citizen center administered by the government or domestic NGOs organized and operated primarily for the purpose of promoting the well-being of abandoned, neglect, neglected, unattached, or homeless senior citizens. So, ito, ang dinidiscuss naman dito is yung 
um, kung alam nyo yung mga home for the aged. So, let's say, meron daw home for the aged administered by the government or administered by NGOs, yung mga non-governmental units natin. Um, yun daw bill sa tubig, sa kuryente, or sa telephone consumption ng certain center na yun, or let's say, yung home for the aged, is subject to 50% discount. Kasi nga, diba, sa home for the aged, inaalagaan yung mga senior citizens na homeless or yung mga um, hindi na nakakasama yung relatives nila. Uh, so, dahil yun yung, um, kumbaga, yun yung objective ng NGO or no home for the aged, they are given 50% discount sa kung ano man na electricity, water, and telephone uh, bill na ma-incur nila. And then, sale of any goods and services to senior citizens shall be exempt from value-added tax. Okay, so ano-ano yung mga yan na goods and services kung saan ma-exempt from VAT ang senior citizens, medicines, professional fees of attending physicians, and licensed health workers, medical and dental services, actual fare for land transportation, travel as well as air transport services and sea shipping vessels, utilization of services in hotels and similar lodging places, restaurants and recreation centers, admission fees charged by theaters, cinema houses, and fur- funeral and burial services for the death of senior citizen. Okay. So, sa mga susunod natin na discussion, makikita ninyo kung paano ba ina-apply itong sinasabi na exempt daw sa VAT yung senior citizens kapag ganitong klaseng seal of goods and services. Now, punta naman tayo kung ano yung mga nakukuhang exemptions and discounts ng isang person with disability or yung tinatawag natin na PWD. Actually, wala siyang pinagkaiba sa slide natin kanina for senior citizen. Again, kapag ang PWD ay minimum wage earner, syempre ma exempt siya from income tax. As well as kung hindi naman sa sobra yung kanyang income tax, eh, as well as kung hindi naman sa sobra yung kanyang taxable income sa 250,000. Okay? And again, ang isang PWD katulad din ng senior citizen shall be given a 20% discount for all establishments supplying certain goods and services for the ex- their exclusive use and enjoyment. Okay. Next, continued para sa PWD ulit. PWDs are not entitled to the 5% discount on monthly utilization of water and electricity not provided for the PWD center. Okay, kanina din discuss natin na merong discount as to monthly utilization ng water and electricity yung senior citizen. So, dito sinabi uh, sa atin na ang PWD daw ay hindi entitled for that 5% discount. Okay? Sale of any goods and services to PWD shall be exempt from VAT. O kanina, may din discuss tayo na goods and services na pag binili ng senior citizen, yung senior citizen ay mag-VAT exempt. Dito din, meron din yung mga PWDs. Actually, kamukhang kamukha lang din to nung nandun kanina sa senior citizen. Again, medicines, professional fees for medical services, dental services, fare sa land transportation travel, fare sa air transportation ser- tra- travel, sea shipping vessels, hotels, restaurants, recreation centers, theaters, cinema houses, funeral and burial services for the death of PWD. Okay, so, ang tatandaan lang natin dito sa slide na to, the PWDs are not entitled to the 5% discount on monthly utilization of water and electricity. Okay, paano kung senior citizen na tapos PWD pa? Okay, pwede ba niyang makuha ng dalawang beses yung discount? The answer is, only one discount can be availed. Okay, so, if a senior citizen is also a PWD, he or she can only claim one discount. Kung a PWD naman is also a senior citizen, he or she can also claim only one discount. Okay, so, sabi kasi kanina, isang discount lang daw yung ma-avail, ba? Diba? 
kung senior citizen ka at PWD ka din, isa lang. Kung PWD ka at senior citizen ka din, isa lang. So, alin sa discount ang i-avail mo? Higher discount may be availed. So, tingnan mo daw kung alin yung mas mataas. For senior citizen, in the purchase of goods and services which have promotional discount, the senior citizen can avail of the promotional discount or the senior citizen discount whichever is higher. So, ipinapasok din pala niya dito yung hindi lang yung tungkol sa Uh, isang discount yung pwede mong i-avail. Paano daw kung meron kang binili na goods tapos may promotional discount? Tapos nakita mo na yung promotional discount ay mas malaki kesa sa maa-avail mo kung ang gagamitin mo ay yung senior citizen discount. Therefore, ang piliin mo, whichever is higher. Kung ikaw naman ay PWD at ganun din ang nangyari, meron kang bibili na goods or meron kang i-acquire na services, uh, Tingnan mo din kung may promotional discount. Again, if the promotional discount is higher than the PWD discount, kung ano yung mas mataas, yun yung pipiliin mo. Again, higher discount may be availed. Okay, so treatment of discount for income tax and VAT purposes. Only the actual amount of discount granted or a sales discount not less than the statutory rate whichever is higher based on the gross selling price can be deducted from the gross income net of value added tax if applicable for income tax purposes and from gross sales or gross uses of the business enterprise concerned for VAT or other percentage tax purposes. So, ang business sinasabi nung napakahaba na yan. Ano? Again, kapag ikaw ay isang senior citizen, okay, at namili ka kung ano yung discount na gusto mo. Kung pinili mo man ay promotional discount, senior citizen discount, um, paano daw yon iti-declare nung nagbenta or ni seller? So again, kung kayo ilagay nyo yung sarili nyo as seller, tapos nagbenta kayo ng goods or services kay senior citizen, ano daw yung gagawin nyo doon sa discount na na-avail na senior citizen? So that should be deducted from your gross sales or gross receipts. Okay, so di ba po nagkukumpo tayo sales, the sales discount, yan, ano, para makuha natin yung net sales. So, dito ganun, ano, from our gross sales or gross receipts, kailangan natin iles yung na-avail na discount ni senior citizen. Ganun din kung nag-avail ng discount yung person with disability. Again, if we are the seller for income tax purposes, kailangan natin i-deduct yung Um, na avail na discount ni PWD from our gross sales or gross receipts. Okay, so kanina na-discuss natin na ang PWD or ang isang senior citizen, kapag bumili sila ng certain goods, okay, VAT exemption. So, hindi sila magbayad ng VAT. Ngayon, ano-ano yung mga goods na yun, ano For senior citizen, medicines including influenza and pneumococcal vaccines, goods limited to basic necessities, and goods limited to prime commodities. Okay, so yung mga sinasabi niya na basic necessities ng individual, so yung mga basic na pangailangan niyang senior citizen, okay, for prime commodities, yung mga basic ay mga prime na kaya kailangan ng senior citizens. As well as persons with disability, ganun din, VAT exempt sila for uh, medicines including influenza and pneumococcal vaccines as well as goods limited to basic necessities. Okay, so mapapansin natin dyan na wala yung goods limited to prime commodities kapag yan ay person with disability. Para mas maintindihan natin, meron tayong additional notes dito na nakalagay sa form ng table. This table is... Um, galing sa libro ni Sir Rex Bangawan for business and transfer taxation. Okay, so tingnan natin ano, pag daw ang ibebenta natin ng goods, letter A, ay drugs, vaccines, and foods for special medical purpose, the senior citizen can claim yung tinata, uh, under senior citizen, VAT exempt yung sale na yon. Under din ang PWD, VAT exempt din yon. For letter B, kapag ang ibinenta natin ay vitamins and mineral supplements, that is a VAT exempt kung ang binentahan natin ay senior citizen. Kapag naman ang binentahan natin ay PWD, hindi yon VAT exempt. For letter C, accessories and equipment by or for senior citizens such as eyeglasses, hearing aid, dentures, prosthetics, artificial bone replacements, walkers, crutches, wheelchairs, quad canes, geriatric, 
diapers, and other essential medical supplies, accessories, and equipment. Kapag daw yan ay binenta natin sa isang senior citizen, si senior citizen ay VAT exempt yung pagkakabili niya. As for PWD, hindi. For casket or urn, so yung mga ginagamit natin for burial purposes. For senior citizens, that is VAT exempt as well as for PWD. Okay, so tatandaan lang natin for drugs, vaccines, and foods for special medical purpose and for casket or urn. Parehas na VAT exempt ang senior citizen as well as the PWD. Pero for vitamins and mineral supplements and accessories and equipment, senior citizen lang yung VAT exempt. So, itry natin yung sinasabi na yun. Let's have an illustration. Special Care Store is a business catering for the needs of seniors and PWDs. It had the following sales of goods during the month. So, ito daw yung ibinenta ni Special Care Store. So, again, sinasabi dito na si Special, special Care Store daw ay may customers na senior citizen at PWD. At ito daw yung mga naibenta kay um, senior citizen. So, vitamin supplements, 300,000. Ang naibenta kay PWD, 100,000. Medical drugs, 100,000. For senior citizen, 140,000 to PWD. Eyeglasses and wheelchairs, 80,000 to senior citizen, 120,000 to PWD. Household and kitchen supplies, 200,000 for senior citizen and 100,000 for PWD. Casket and urns, 240,000 for SC. 100,000 per PWD and Memorial Law, 300,000 for Senior Citizen and PWD. Ang required sa atin, determine the amount of sales which are VAT exempt. So, babalikan natin yung table kanina para malaman natin kung ano yung nilagay natin na rules doon. Again, from the previous table, ang sabi ko, kapag drugs, vaccines, and foods for special medical purpose yan and casket or urn yan, parehas na VAT exempt si senior citizen at si PWD. And the rest, si senior citizen na lang yung VAT exempt for letter B, vitamins and mineral supplements, and for letter C, accessories and equipment. Now, let's use yung table na to para malaman kung magkano ba ang sales na VAT exempt for senior citizen and PWD. Okay, so pwede mong itry na mag-solve kung ano ba yung amount ng sales na VAT exempt. And syempre, para sigurado ko na susubukan mo, the answer will be on the next video.